Okay, I just got off work, but I want to share this with you guys. Some highlights of Vivek Ramaswamy. Man, this dude is, he's brilliant. Just check out some of this stuff and you tell me what you think. I would like to read some of your comments. Uh, I know he's running for president on the Republican side. I think he'll be a good vice president if Trump is able to run. You know, they still messing with Trump. They're going to continue until election time. I heard something about Colorado took him off the ballot. Well, this is a stunning ruling from the Colorado Supreme Court saying that Trump should not appear on the ballot in 2024. But, uh, that's another story. I don't know how true that is, but you guys uh, leave some comments. But check this out. Let's watch uh, some of this together. That language, they live like vermin. Do you believe that that is, as your uh, Republican colleague, Chris Christie has said, neo-Nazi rhetoric? This is a classic mainstream media move. Pick some individual phrase of Donald Trump, focus on literally that word without actually interrogating the substance of what's at issue. The word I was chosen for a reason. I think we are in the middle reason. of a cultural war in this country. The well, word you was know chosen what? It, it, for a it's reason. It's actually describing a series of behaviors. You have Antifa and other related groups that have been burning down cities for the last three years in this country. Would you describe them Wildly as vermin? Wildly violating the rule of law. We have an invasion on our southern border. We have millions of people crossing our southern border. Let's talk about the substance okay. of why we have to recognize would, that we're not in ordinary you, times. Would you so use that language yourself? the vocabulary of the vermin or not is not what's important. Well, I haven't used that language. So, so you can look you? at my, my track record on the campaign trail. I talk about the issues. We all talk about them differently. But what I'm not going to do is play some game of focusing on some word that somebody else said without ignoring entirely the substance of what we're actually talking about. A border crisis of historic proportion. Economic stagnation we haven't seen in 50 years. A national identity crisis and a loss of national pride in the next generation that's potentially existential for this country. Let's talk about our dependence on China. Today we're actually talking about yeah. Xi Jinping. Wow. Picking on Donald Trump's word vermin to talk about that status quo. You know what's vermin? What's running around San Francisco on a given day before Gavin Newsom cleaned it up on a dime to roll out the red carpet for Xi Jinping? If he could do that for Xi Jinping, he could have done it on an ordinary day. And yet we're here sitting talking not about the substance of that, but on one word that Donald Trump said in some speech in Miami. This is what's wrong with the mainstream media. Focus wow. on the substance and let's have an actual policy debate rather than talking to a presidential <laughs> candidate instead of the policy substance of what's actually going on in the country. Picking on some word that Donald Trump said on a certain day and asking me for comment on it. Give me a break. Swami, let me turn to you. Uh, please make your case. Why would you... Uh, why should you be the nominee and not the former president? I think there's something deeper going on in the Republican Party here. And I am upset about what happened last night. We've become a party of losers at the end of the day. We have a cancer in the Republican establishment. Let's speak the truth. I mean, since Ronna McDaniel took over as chairwoman of the RNC in 2017, we have lost 2018, 2020. 2022, no red wave that never came. We got trounced last night in 2023. And I think that we have to have accountability in our party. For that matter, Ron, if you want to come on stage tonight, you want to look the GOP voters in the eye and tell them you resign, I will turn over my, yield my time to you. And frankly, look, the people there are cheering for losing in the Republican Party. Think about who's moderating this debate. This should be Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, and Elon Musk. We'd have 10 times the viewership asking questions that GOP primary voters actually care about and bringing more people into our party. Do you think the Democrats, and we've got Kristen Welker here, do you think the Democrats would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Kristen, I'm going to use this time because this is actually about you in the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Wow. Answer the question. Go. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Sorry. This is how we get our country back. Oh, wow. We need accountability because this media rigged the 2016 election. They rigged the 2020 election with a Hunter Biden laptop story. Mr. And they're going to rig this election. Your time is up. Let me turn to Governor, Governor Christie. Why you Let me get to some issues. Uh, this week, Trump opened up a rally in Texas with uh, the rendition of the national anthem sung by some of the January 6 rioters who broke into the Capitol. Uh, he went on to call them hostages. Do you agree with Trump that January 6 prisoners are hostages? I think many peaceful protesters on January 6th should absolutely not be in prison. 
We have a dual standard of justice in this country. One standard applied. But Trump is using the word hostages. Do you think that they're hostages? For the prior two years. Isn't that irresponsible to call them well, hostages my view is, with what's going on in Israel right now? I mean, Jim, let me, let me just be really clear about what's irresponsible as it relates to coverage of Donald Trump. And I think that your network and others like you owe some accountability here from the Rush Trump Russia collusion hoax that never was to the Hunter Biden laptop story that was actually real before people before the election were told that it was false so i think that the real accountability here belongs to the media speak the truth right, admit the question, accountability the question where you is wrong. whether the question is cases, whether you agree with them calling six them protesters hostages were yeah. denied constitutional rights well i think I, I agree with the spirit of it the spirit of it is those people many of them have been denied their constitutional rights and many of them who were peaceful they're going through the justice a process different standard being of the rule of law to them than somebody else well i don't think that 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 many of those prosecutions are just my view is if you're using one standard of political prosecution for somebody because they have political views different from your own that's not justice that is injustice and that's why i've said that anybody who is a peaceful protester on january 6th for those peaceful protesters they will earn a pardon from me on day one and i will wow. stand by that Jim. Just give me a freaking break. You turn on social media, you understand. People should watch that debate. I went to New Hampshire. People were laughing at the idea of the mainstream media's coverage of the New York Times columnists and people like you who belong there with one narrative because you have some identity politic vision of what you think a leader of this country Nikki should look like. Nikki Haley when in fact is the my Trojan horse. This country <laughs> understand. Well, the fact of the matter is you guys are, have made a career out of deciding that the America First agenda is not the future of this country. Kick that out of the Republican Party. Put a genteel version that you can control as your little puppet so you, American politics looks the way you want it to. And yes, many people, Look, you know what? We don't need a Republican Party leader who itself is a wholly owned subsidiary of Boeing, which itself is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Democratic Party masquerading as a Republican. Wow. You guys tell me what you think. Man, this guy is, he, he's on the ball. To me, he's playing chess. Uh, he's a very, very smart man. And the way he talk and put words together, uh, I think he'll be a great president or great vice president. Either way, you guys uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.